And the stands are packed. The infield is full. And that's right. We are back racing in the GTO Weekly Series. The Weekly Series making its return for a second season. We're here at Blue Moon Bay Speedway this season instead of the Northern Isles Speedway. So we're going to crown a Blue Moon Bay Speedway champion. And as always, I am joined in the booth by GTO Touring Series champion Rashad Metz. Rashad Metz, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. I just can't wait to watch this race unfold in front of our eyes. It's great to come back for season two of the weekly series and see what these guys are going to, what kind of show these guys can put on. And it's going to be a thriller, especially the weekly series. It's going to be the most unpredictable season ever as we set on the road to crown a track champion here at Blue Moon Bay Speedway. The first time that we have had a, a weekly series season here. And it's sure to be a thriller. So, and a lot of rule changes coming up. We have a new penalty system uh, about wrecking people coming to line. It's going to be just a lot of different stuff that's adding into this the driving experience that these drivers will have to adjust to this season. So it's going to be a lot more strict. Not as strict in this series as it will in the touring series. And make sure to check out the touring series season opener. This upcoming weekend, the Hudson Memorial 125, the staple race, will kick off the touring series again. But let's not waste any time. Let's go down to your grid. It's time for the Mets painting grid walk. Rashad Mets, you care to start us off with Sissy here up front? First off, we have Sissy in his Reno. Um, he's a newcomer to the series, coming out here trying to make his first start in the uh, GRT um, Reno here. He's going to try to see what he can do with his car today and see if he can stay out front and see if he can win this race on his debut. And starting P2 is Miles Johnson. Miles Johnson has never finished out of the podium on an oval race and he has the most wins out of all drivers in the league at oval tracks. All seven of his career victories have came at oval racetracks. He is the formal former Northern Isles Speedway track champion and a weekly series champion so he's gonna he's coming into this season to defend his weekly series champion title and try to go for back-to-back -back weekly series championships so look for him to be running up front and be a podium contender uh, next on the group we have Trevor Levine sporting a, a nice BP Corvette today Rock the number 100. Um, I think he's going to try to make an effort. Uh, ovals are not really his specialty, but he's a real well-rounded race car driver, so I really think he's going to make an effort, and I think he's going to try to uh, put his car up front. I think he's going to try to win this race. I think he has a very good chance. Man, rolling off P4 is that number 24 Mets painting car, driven by none other than the GTO champion, Rashad Metz. Rashad Metz was the most consistent driver out throughout the entire league, throughout his entire career. He has seven career wins, which is tied at the top of the win, win, all-time wins list with Miles Johnson. He has only finished outside of the podium one time, but this racetrack is very chaotic today, so he is hoping for a good, strong run today and to stay out of trouble and, as always, have some fun and go for a win. So look for that Mets paint number 24 to be running toward the front. Next, we have the number 99 Reno of Yido Nito. Um, usually, he's driving that McLaren, but now he's just switched to the Reno here, trying to see what he can do with this car. Um, I think there's a trend with the Renos on track, trying to see what they can do, testing them out on these ovals. But I think he's ha going to have a good chance. He's a really strong oval racer, especially here at Blue Moon. You always see him up front, but the luck's not always on his side. But, I, but for today, I hope his luck can change. And he did win a race this past season in the Touring Series at BB Raceway, so let's see if he'll be able to pick up his second victory today. And rolling off in the last two are two randoms that have not raced with us before, so let's see how they will be able to do here today. We have a Mustang and an Audi R8, and they are going to fill off the seven-car grid. Donnie Wu is unable to make the race today, but he did qualify his car, so he will gain last place points today. So, however, he will gain eight place points since there are only seven cars in the field today. Anyways, it looks like it's going to be a fun one today. Let's get ready to get this thing started. Will Miles Johnson be able to defend this track? Because he won the last race at this track, which was the Christmas race here just last year. So the first race of the new year and to kick off the weekly series season. I hope that y'all are ready to enjoy this one as we go trackside. And 
the lights are getting ready to go off. Engines are starting to rev. And the green flag is a waving as they are off the off the line to start this race today and opening up the season. Uh, Miles Johnson takes the lead. And is a lot of wheel spin by Sissy there in the in the second place spot in that room. He had a, seemed like he had some trouble getting off the line here, so it's allowed Miles Johnson to get out to the lead. But here he goes all the way, to, already to the inside. Rashad Metz ducks the outside, three wide already. Rashad Metz clears him for the lead. So, Miles, what do you think about these, um, these new rules? That, how do you think they're going to affect how these racers race? So, I think it's going to make them a lot of cautious. Of course, they are very lenient in this series since there's going to be a lot of bumping and banging. But there's grid penalties, so if you're driving, it's considered dangerous or a threat to other people on the track, and you keep wrecking people, running into people. As you see, most of the field goes single file right now. Um, it, you will be a grid penalty, so you'll most likely finish toward the back of the pack at the end of this race, which all of our penalties will be dealt out at the end of the race. So we will see how this will affect the running order. Start off the race pretty aggressive. Um, this is a 25 lap race. I wonder if they're going to stay really aggressive, pack up like this the whole time, try to take any risks. Uh, do you think anybody's going to try to stay single file or try to stay in the back of the pack? And I think these guys going to try to attack this race today. It seems like since this series is not that much of a big deal as a touring series is sort of our Formula 2, so to speak, a lot of drivers are just coming out here to have fun and going all out since there still are points on the line for that track championship. But this race, this racetrack is just known for producing chaotic racing. So that is what we're doing mostly all day today. for the lead. Ooh, hard into the wall gets Mustang at the back of the pack. Snorka Juice is a, one of our randoms out here trying to make a name for himself. So is uh, Think A Lot. Both trying to make a name for himself in a series um, with their debut races alongside. Um, Top four is in, all in a straight line here, so it looks like everyone's going to tuck in the line. You see how they keep spreading out in the corners, trying to gain positions. Miles Johnson diving all the way down to the bottom. Not going to gain much ground there, so it looks like he's going to try to tuck into a line here. Do you think about Miles uh, in his debut race? And maybe his debut race in our league, but he is a very uh, experienced um, oval racer, so I really think he's going to offer a lot of a lot of different, um, he's going to offer a lot of stuff based upon his experience, you know, he's going to offer different ways to get around this track, a new way to take a look at this track, and maybe the other drivers can learn from his experience and, um, try to get better. You know, single file into turn one, Snorks you sends it into turn one off the wall, you know, Nito's trying to get around him. As they take a line, think a lot's in second place. Harpo is in third, side by side with him. And here comes Sissy on the outside, trying to get a run. Is he going to get some help? Ooh, the leader looking back from Javen Tucker's car in the lead here as he tries to ward off the field. Just, Just look at the closing ring. ring. They sure do get really fast there. Still pushing, tries to get it outside, 
Open the wall there a little bit now. Almost three to four wide. Sissy with the move. He's got help from behind. Nito Nito. These are actually the, the first GTO race that we have seen these two Renault cars or oh, a single Renault car join the race. And they are doing quite well for their first start in the league. As we see Javen Tucker dive to the inside. Javen Tucker has been leading majority of this race, which we saw the same thing in the championship race here a couple months ago for the for the touring series javen tucker had kept that number 99 car out front for 90 percent of the race and as you see now he's dropping back in the, through the pack got some tandem drafting going up front now everybody seems a little more relaxed they just want to uh most of the drivers might want to get in front and try to relax in the front of the field which i don't see why they think of that's a possibility because this race is so heavy coming in through the corner by uh, Snork Juice. Side by side, Trevor Levine bumping and banging with the with, uh, thick a lot. Oh, here so goes really... Javen Tucker's going to take the lead from the bottom. So far, thick a lot's really trying to make a name for himself, trying to show everybody that he can hang with the big boys in his debut race. Really impressive. Javen Tucker's back in the lead. Blocking Trevor Levine goes to the inside with uh, Miles Johnson and that Mustang. Ooh, three Miles wide, Johnson. a lot way up into the wall, a lot of cars there. I so I'm not, okay. I have to ask. We, what are your way too early in the season championship picks for this league? Like, out of this first race, and based off of their past experience in the league, who who, who are your top picks? For me, it's going to have to be you know, you know, It's going to have to be you know, you know, He's just really dominant. You know, he's to take control of the field. When he gets out front, he can stay up there for a long time. So I really think uh, you know, he has a strong chance of uh, winning the championship this season. Well, she surely is. Proving that here today is he's controlling the chaos a little bit. He's already led about half the laps that we've had so far, which is really good considering how chaotic this track is. And it looks like Rashad Mesh is starting to get, I think he had a little issue there in the beginning part of the race, so he started to make his way back up to the pack in that number 24 car. We're trying to stay out of the trouble, stay out of the drama for him. get rid of the race. He's going to try to make a comeback and get into the mix. See on the bottom there, Sissy gets left out alone. That's one of the things. Everyone spreads out in the corner on these tracks, but on the straightaway, it's every man for himself unless you can find some help. So you gotta spread out in the corner, try to gain as many spots as you can, and then on that straightaway, you gotta find your friends. Oh, dough down the bottom! Heavy contact! Still bumping and banging. Trevor Levine trying to come out on top by using the bottom. Three wide, almost four behind him. Side by side, Trevor Levine takes control of the field. Rashad Metz is trying to make his way through the pack. All the way up to P4 now. And we just passed the halfway point of this race. There's plenty of racing left in this race. Trevor Levine has pulled a nice, comfortable little space, little gap from the field of here. It's all the bumping and banging. Ooh, the three wide the for the lead. They a huge run around. Trevor Levine. Miles Johnson takes the, the lead. Miles the lead here. But not for long. We got two cars down to the inside. With the slide job, Sissy's going to take the lead again. Three 
three wide going down the front straightaway. This is one heck of a race about to say some nice thing. Ooh, Four bumping and banging. Turn one had the really negotiated oh, bumping and banging on a sliding. Let's take a look here from the onboard of Miles Johnson's car, who's kind of stuck in the middle of the hornet's nest here. A lot of bumping and banging. Almost some trouble there. A lot of these drivers have to make these split second. Ooh, more contact. <coughs> one thing I always heard from one of my fellow competitors is that um, that Mustang front end lines up perfectly with whatever car's bumper that he's pushing. And it, it, it really shows that those Mustangs can give one heck of a push, and they can also take one heck of a push. Those Mustangs are some really strong cars on these ovals, and as you see here with two Mustangs side by side for the lead, it really shows. The, the straight line speed on the American muscle cars, you see a lot of, you see some of it in the Viper, mostly in the Mustang, and you see a good bit of it in the Corvette. You see, those cars are able to run extremely well here, but the Mustang isn't the best at cornering it. It's quite heavy and doesn't have that low of a Doesn't have that low of a center of gravity in that Mustang, so it kind of hurts in our cornering, but it still makes for a lot of fun racing with a bunch of other cars. The tandem's going on here. Rashad Minton, you don't need to try to work that outside around. Um, Trevor Levine. Ooh, and the random begins almost. Lost, gets into the sissy. Saves it. Oh, it could that have been a massive wreck there. That one just a normal save. That was a save at least 180 miles an hour, which is incredible. This package, these cars, these cars have, these drivers have to make really um, four quick wide decisions. and turn one. Four wide and turn one. Rashad Metz gets a, gains some advantage through that um, four wide encounter. That's what can happen here in a blink of an eye. You can go from first to last in one turn. Three wide tandems all over the lead. place. The Mustangs pushing that line of three cars there. You don't need a Miles Johnson. Uh, Rashad Metz really working together well. Rashad Bob Metz is going to take the lead. Metz goes up in the high lane. Metz is going to lead him a lap. We have about seven laps here remaining, so it's about to be go time for these drivers. Four, oh, what heavy man. contact! A lot of drivers into the wall. I don't know, but um, Snort Juice is not making so far, not making. Uh, a very good reputation in this race. He's being very reckless. He better be a little careful before uh, the stewards decide to penalize him. Yeah, the, the GTO stewards did just issue a grid penalty for him. So he will be finishing at the end of the running car. So he will be finishing in seventh place wherever he finishes on track. Due to his driving being deemed dangerous. So, Rashad, do you think that we're going to see the big one here today? We've seen a lot of massive wrecks here in the past. We saw them in the championship race. We saw them in the Christmas race where we had four or more cars involved and spinning all over the place, cars going airborne. Do you think we're going to see one of these races? This, ra these, this racing is definitely... Ooh, look at the tandem on the bottom! See those Mustangs, man. Those they Mustangs take the lead! And push like crazy. Miles Johnson and Trevor Levine. One, two, into turn one. Still locked bumpers through the corner. Huge yeah, run let's, let's, like, let's go back and take a look at this. So they go, they start, they line up just out of turn two, I think. Trevor Levine gets in front of And they're using that bottom lane. Look, they dive down to the inside. Make it five wide going all the way And they the push him back everybody. It's a good jump out on the If you can get two cars that are good lined up together here, 
you can make a lot happen in just a split second. They could have won the race there if it was the final lap. But back to the question I asked you about, is there going to be a big one without a doubt? I will, these, these races are typically chaotic, and uh, with the settings and with the package that we're running now, I have no doubt that these drivers, one driver is going to make a mistake, or somebody's going to go for the same piece of real estate, and it's going to be a massive one. So far, these drivers have been racing really hard, really aggressive. They're all going for each other's throats. Well, we're coming down to four to go, so it is definitely go time. So if that big wreck is going to happen, it's going to be now. Usually, when we see in these races, a driver tends to like to stay farther in the back of the pack, trying to work um, trying to work the field a little bit, trying to stay in the back, see what kind of moves they can make, and then later in the race, they're going to try to make that move. This race, everybody's been trying to get there, get a little bit of taste of a lap, trying to lead a little bit of a race, trying to lead that lap on, as if it was for a point, three wide, Whoa, four, four wide. wide, going into turn three here. David Tucker trying to hold his own on the outside, he's getting some help from the 0-6 car. Well, Johnson and the Mustang is really strong when it comes to pushing, really strong. I'm thinking a lot of P3. Great debut for him so far. I think he's been doing absolutely great this race. We got that that Mustang and that and Renault of Javen Tucker and Miles Johnson. The probably the two best oval racers in the league are running one two right now. It's going to be fun to watch how they sort it out here as we're coming up the two to go at the line. Side by side, come around the line. Sissy gets around Miles Johnson, but Miles Johnson is still working with Ido Nito. Sissy has no help. Oh, looks oh, like Johnson. Really, ooh, Mets moved his way up into third. He's been real wishy washy this race. He's typically either been in the back or he's been up in the front. You really don't see him dabbling in the mid pack for long. But right now he goes falls. Oh, straight Johnson back to the goes back. to the lead. Yeah. Three wide behind him, all down the apron. He gets pushed up the track. Everybody's trying to use every bit of the track to carry out these runs, trying to gain all the position they can. Sissy's on the way inside lane, trying to dodge. Coming off the, the lap, the way. turn to take the white flag. One to go. Who's it going to be? Side, RC Gaming and Rashad and uh, Ronald Johnson were working together on the side lane for a second. Everybody's single filing out. Now they're three wide Ooh, in the corners. Heavy Holy contact God. up the track. Sissy gets loose. Here comes Jamin Tucker with a good run. Mets and Josh trying to, oh, some good block there. Three this cars lined up race. on the bottom. It's still this anyone's race. race. One more turn to go. Mets getting a good push from Johnson. One more turn. Johnson, three, four wide. The track, they go wide. Coming down to the finish. Javen Tucker! Javen Tucker the wins the race! His second career victory! What a finish! Incredible finish! What a great finish and a great day for Javen Tucker to get his second career win. Thanks again, Rashad, for watching us with us today. It was, surely was an exciting race. We'll be back with you again for the weekly series at this track for race two come next week. And we're looking forward to seeing you at the Hudson Memorial 125, where we will kick off the touring series season. Well, thanks all for watching. I'm Miles Johnson and Rashad Metz, and y'all have a great one.